when an aging celebrity needs to earn some extra cash, it seems like they always end up endorsing some slimy product. Tom Selleck loves his reverse home mortgages, and Alex Trebek promoted Colonial Pen for years before his passing. All of that pales in comparison to the massive list of celebrities that have endorsed the company CarShield and their extended warranty products. Everyone from Ghostbuster Ernie Hudson to Burt Reynolds and even actors Ice-T and Vivica A. Fox have all decided to endorse this scummy company because the paycheck was just too good to pass up, it would seem. Now, if you're unfamiliar with CarShield, they heavily advertise on cable TV and primarily target the elderly, as well as lower income groups, to sign up for their extended car warranties that they claim will put their minds at ease and save them thousands of dollars when their cars break down. But as you can see from the company's 1.46 star rating on the Better Business website, most people absolutely hate this company. To be clear on what this company offers, they aren't offering insurance to protect people who get in a car accident. What they offer is an extended warranty that promises to cover most issues your car will face if and when it breaks down. Most new cars will have a warranty on parts for a limited mileage amount or set year time, but older or used cars don't have this coverage. So paying a low monthly fee instead of a large bill once your car needs repairs is seen as a good thing to lots of people living paycheck to paycheck. Unfortunately, this product they offer can only be described as a dud, as many people sadly find out the hard way once their car breaks down. The tricky way this company operates is to offer several different plans with confusing language on just what it covers so as to convince a lower income person to get their lower tier silver plan that only covers, as they say, the most important parts of your vehicle. It's much less than their platinum or diamond plans that cover much more, but you need to read through three service policies of 25 to 30 pages each to determine exactly what each plan will and won't cover. What most people unfortunately find out after paying for CarShield warranties for some time is that once they take their car in for repairs, CarShield will fight tooth and nail to try and find some way to not have to pay the bill for the repairs. In a viral video from the mechanic YouTube channel Buckley's Auto Care, the mechanic at the shop voices his disdain for working with CarShield to try and get clients' repairs covered and gives an example of a multi-thousand dollar repair being declined for coverage because the part needing repair was not considered part of the engine, which had full coverage. So look, I want to give you a couple examples that we see here that we have on the lot today that were CarShield clients and they were declined their claim even though you would assume that the reason why the car failed would be covered. All right, so we have our first one here. It's a Dodge uh, Chrysler uh, minivan, okay? It's fairly well kept. Uh, you know, it's up in age, I guess, a little bit, but what it had going wrong, uh, what it has as the issue is the flywheel is cracked, which will not allow the vehicle to start, right? The flywheel is the, is the piece of, uh, it's a component that sits between, good morning, Dennis, is the component that sits between the engine and the transmission. The starter engages the flywheel. The flywheel has teeth. So does the starter's Bendix. It comes out, it cranks the motor over. So you effectively, well, you can start the motor if you've got a lot of muscle on the front end, like, like a big crank, but the starter takes the place of that. If the starter teeth does not match up and is capable of turning the engine over, the vehicle will not start. Now, Car Shield says it will take care of, you think that it takes care of driveline, engine and transmission. Well, it could take care of the engine, it could take care of the transmission, but it will not take care of the components in between. So this is a loophole that they get you on. So this person is out, because you got to remove the transmission to install the flywheel, right? And it's a shame because they're good people, hardworking, and they've put their trust, faith, and money into a product that basically sucks. And there's no other way around it. 
Now, this isn't an isolated incident by any means. A quick search on YouTube will find local news agencies that have covered stories of people having their claims denied for coverage by car shield across the country. And you can find many individuals with tiny channels with almost no subscribers who have posted their complaints with having to deal with car shield. And these videos regularly get 5,000 to 30,000 views showing just how many people are searching for this information on YouTube. It's clear that many, many people have had horrible experiences with this incredibly shifty company. Aside from doing everything in their power to try and not have to pay for repairs on people's cars, CarShield also offers 24-hour roadside assistance for most of their plans, as well as covering towing in most cases as well. A very quick YouTube search found a CarShield client that said they even failed him with those very basic services when his car broke down a few years ago. And I put my gas in, my car wouldn't start. So people that know anything about cars, that's either two things. It's either your starter or your battery. So um, I went for my policy number, I called them. It was, they were closed. They say 24 hour roadside assistance. Mm, somewhat kind of and I'm gonna get into that so I went through my emails I got my policy number found my policy number I had to Google after hours um, uh, car shield and I finally got in touch with them and uh, so uh, towing I had to pay for towing they said they'd reimburse me and it's a bunch of shenanigans, a bunch of stuff you gotta do. They, they basically, they give you the run around. It's not worth it. On top of all of that sketchy fine print that allows CarShield to weasel their way out of paying many clients repair bills, they also deceptively market in their ads how much money some of their clients save by leaving out some very important information. As a mechanical engineer, it's not a matter of if your car is gonna break down, but when. With CarShield, I saved $4,100. CarShield administrators helped me save $2,500 on the repair of my car. CarShield administrators saved me $3,500. CarShield came through for me, and I know they will come through for you. In that ad, they show how much those happy clients saved by not having to pay the repair bills, but conveniently forget to mention that clients have to pay a monthly premium in order to keep their extended warranties. The actual amount those clients save is far less once you factor in the cost they have to pay every month for the service. The average cost of a CarShield monthly service plan is about $125 a month. With that information, we can now take a look at those happy customers and see that their actual savings would be much less. Take Joe, for example, who claimed to have saved $2,500 in car repair cost. If he's been paying his $125 month premium for six months, his savings is only $1,750. If he's been paying for the service for two years, then he actually lost money paying a total of $3,000 in total premium cost over those two years. He would have saved $500 if he never had car shield and simply paid out of his pocket for the repairs. It should be pretty clear by now that this company preys upon lower income individuals who don't realize what a bad deal this service really is. Most people who are well off financially would never sign up for a service like this and would simply stash some cash away in an emergency fund for issues like this when they pop up. People who are living paycheck to paycheck think this is a better option for them since they only have to pay a small amount each month instead of a large bill, but in many cases if you pay for this service for years, you end up paying more than you would for the repair and there's no telling if CarShield will even cover your service once your car does break down. Taking a look at some of the reviews on the Better Business Review page, you can see that the near endless list of bad reviews paint a picture of just how hard it is to deal with this company. Darlene's review even shows her extreme frustration with CarShield, stating that, I went to my mechanic and there was a loud noise in the rear end. It was determined that the coupler needed to be replaced. My mechanic did not accept CarShield, so the car was towed to another place to be repaired. Pictures were sent and the adjuster came out and said this was a pre-existing issue. I sent all my service records for my vehicle and it was never said there was an issue with this part. The part fails and now I have to pay out of pocket to fix my vehicle. Their ads say you can go to any mechanic. Wrong. It says get your car covered before you break down. Wrong. I always service my car to the manufacturer specs and was denied by CarShield. I think it's unfair they claim things but do not hold true to it. I have escalated for a resolution and they still said it's denied. How can they do that? It's not right at all. It would not let me do no stars, so I had to click one. 
Many mechanic shops flat out refuse to work with CarShield because of their continued attempts to try and back out of covering clients' repair costs. Some states, including my state of California, have actually passed laws preventing CarShield from offering their products in the state because of how bad the product can actually be. On a side note, I do find it odd that CarShield has advertised their ads on local stations I've watched in California, despite them not being able to do business here. Seems like someone in their marketing department needs to lose their job after wasting so much money advertising to Californians that can't actually use their plans. Ultimately, CarShield is a very bad product, in my opinion, that the majority of people who buy the product will end up losing money on, by either paying for years before they get a costly repair, or even having a part breakdown that CarShield flat out refuses to cover. There will of course be some people that will benefit from the warranty and luck out with it being covered, but from the vast amount of negative reviews you can find all over the internet about CarShield, it's clear that if you buy one of their plans, you are taking a huge gamble that could very likely end up costing you more money for your repairs than if you had just paid out of pocket without their extended warranty. Let me know in the comments below if you think CarShield's extended warranty is worthless for most people or a total scam. Thanks for watching.